In this video, I'm going to teach you how exactly you can build a mock interview agent, especially for QA, right? By using a Google ADK, which is Agent Development Kit. We will understand what exactly is the ADK. We will understand why you need to build a mock interview platform and how you can develop your own agent also locally with local LLM. What is an agent? We will understand that. We will build the agent live in front of you in the full tutorial. We will run it and test it. And I'm going to give you the future enhancement also. Let me share you something. So this is one of the agent that local agent right now which is running right now which I have created which will basically not only take your interview it's an AI agent it can think about it, it can give you reviews and it can basically use tools memory and lot of other things which are available not only this I, I, I will teach you right how exactly same thing can be by using the lovable or any other application you can develop a UI where you will select your name experience your target role and your focus area it will start your interview based on the context and it will start giving you and asking you version based on that also. So how you can create all this? What is the agent development kit? How exactly we can use it? Uh, we will learn it. It's a very important information. Even if you are a manual tester, automation tester, anyone, right? You are planning that, okay, yes, I have to create an agent by itself. We have also created a lot of agents right now in our company, Techion, right? We are using it. How exactly people are developing it by using Google ADK, which is one of the amazing platform, right? We are going to learn it. Let's go. Let's learn it. First of all, we need to understand, sir, what is an AI agent? You need to understand it very clearly, right? Let me give you a simple definition. What exactly is an AI agent? Okay, everyone, please understand. You have to first understand what is not a AI agent. Normal generative context, whenever you are just talking with the LLM, that is not a, a actually an agent. For example, if you give an input, if you get an output, which basically can be text, image or something, right? Directly Claude that you are using, directly ChatGPT that you are using, that is just a large language module. That is not, not an agent. Agent by default basically what is a true agent it is like a personal ai assistant which can think which can do something let me tell you with the some something which is very important which is this is a it's a white paper by google which is introduction to agent and here in this case i'm going to give you what exactly is a agent is all about okay so if you go to the notes here exactly is the thing that you need to important which is important everyone which is that a ai is not simply a ai in a static workflow it's not a static workflow it's a complete application making plans taking action to achieve a goal so agent can basically whatever the task you will give him it will divide them into a particular simple simple modules and it will basically work on those modules based on your memory based on your tools it will use those and to achieve the goal that is the most important thing it can basically do react which means it can act upon it think about it and it can basically based on that decision it can reiterate also which means by using the large model which is large language model right it has an ability to reason and act accordingly this is the most important thing that you need to remember to handle a any multitask or a complete task normal conversation with llm it cannot achieve Okay, that is important. So if we talk about important part, what exactly a AI agent contains, it contains majorly the first thing, which is brain. It's like a human, everyone. It's like a, not human, it's like a brain. The main brain is the LLM that you are using, which is a large model. For example, you may be using Google Gemini, Claude, you may be using ChatGPT, whatever, which is a foundation, which is a brain, which will think about it. Second thing is which tools he is using. You can use a different tools. For example, Jira tools, other tools, right? For example, there are a couple of tools to make API requests, web automation, playwright. All these are tools it can basically use for the, to achieve the task which he wants to do. Okay. Third one is the orchestration layer which is nothing but a nervous system which will take decisions which will have your memory states reasoning all these things happen because of this part okay and the last part which is deployment which is your body and legs you will deploy this also the agent directly into this your laptop is not only effective it has to be production deployment that is exactly what we are going to learn so in the agent development kit that you see we are going to create a production ready agent the most important thing is you can use it in company but sir we are not allowed to use Google Gemini. We are not allowed to use ChatGPT. We are not allowed to use Claude. Don't worry. What I will suggest to you is you can also use something called a local LLM. So if you basically go with Olama Mistral directly, it you just install Olama and install the Mistral 7 billion one in your local machine. You can use this LLM to work with your agent development kit. That is exactly what we are using in our company also. So it can basically work with your own LLM, whichever LLM you want to. 
I think I'm going to take a simple example of Google Gemini because it is easy to use and free of cost also right now. Okay. So what is a true agent? So true agent is a personal assistant which can basically do uh, with memory, do task. AI agent can be lead generation, customer support, right? Right. The most important thing that you need to remember is this is the important thing. AI agent basically is combination of a brain. Everyone, please understand this. It has a brain. It has a memory tools. It has ability to think and act and contrast with the workflow, whatever. So it's not a simple workflow. It can think and act accordingly also. Okay. That is what important thing that you need to remember. Okay. So uh, it you can have like multiple agents, social media agent, content generation agent, website agent, there are hundreds of them also. We are not going to discuss this. We are going to discuss directly how we can use a agent development kit to develop our agent. One more example, which I want to give you before we proceed. Here is the example how agent basically think about it. So what is the process of agentic problem solving, right? What exactly it do? It has a mission. It scan the skin, which means it can basically discuss, think about it, think it through and take action. Let me give you a simple example. What exactly it means? Suppose so a user ask from your customer support agent, what is my order, which is order one, two, three. First of all, it will identify where is the order. So it will divide, think through it. It will divide into three parts, identifying the resources. It will track and make a API call to find the, if it is the order, which is present in the database or not. If it is there, then it will report accordingly and give you a result that, okay, yes, it is out for delivery. So that is exactly a agent can take decision. It can think, it can act, it can do with the LLM by using the power of LLM. So LLM is only brain, but tools, memory and other things basically makes it a real agent, which is think and act remember that in important okay this is the important thing that you need to remember now let's try to develop the agent and development kit so if you talk about the google adk by default uh, this is the website where you will see which is agent development kit google basically provide you a development kit directly where you can basically create your own agent from scratch that is exactly what we are going to learn now the interesting part which is there you can create lot of different type of agents everyone let me give you a simple view if you go to testingbuddy.ai there are almost 12 types of different agents that you can basically create and there are more also which I'm basically going to add. You can have a test generator, regression, selenium, two-pillar converter. Anything can be an agent in this case. Today's, today we are going to develop, which I have already developed right now. You can see it here. It's a mock interview agent, which will take your interview as a 15 years of experience, right? Couple of people will say, Ki, sir, it's a normal conversation. No, it's an agent, running agent, which can think, which can, based on your score, based on my answer, it can react or think and act. Very, very important part. Okay. Now, how to develop this? So the simplest way, if you go with the official definition, this is the official definition. The easiest way to develop is by using the Python. By the way, there is no coding required. You don't need code and everything for this. What you need is the information, couple of important points. Okay. If you're interested, you can go with Java also. You just create a Maven function or a Gradle, just add a dependency. We will be using, using a Python, which is easiest way to do it. I'm going to show you how exactly it can be done. Okay. So the first thing is make sure that you have Python installed in your system. So go to Python downloads and make sure that you download the latest version which is 3.14 or anything above from this okay this is the first thing second thing that you will do is go to your terminal and start typing the command okay so by the way i'm already running the command so what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you a couple of commands which is there so uh, here is the command which basically I, i'm going to show you how exactly what i have done in this so first i have run a command which is pip install google adk which means if python is already installed into your system pip which is a python package manager already will be available and it will automatically install the google adk into your system okay so after installing what you will have is it will ask you okay which model you want to use which is the which llm which brain you want to use for this agent development you can by default it will provide your first option which is google gemini or you can use other option also so now if you are going production ready or if you want to use your local any kind of llm uh, for example your company does not allow you to use chat gpt cloud.as gemini and everything right then what you can do interestingly is is this part which is you can install by using the olamba there are lot of free models or local llms are available you can run a local llm by using for example mistral is another free version where no data will leave your computer it will never leave your computer and everything you can run it directly by using this command which is olama run install it will give you a url that also can be used here so if you select this option it will basically select the model which you want to use as a database i mean we are using google ai directly it will store the database everything uh, this is the api key which i am going to use right so how do you get api key you just go to aistudio.google.com go to api keys and create an api key direct so this is where uh, you can create an api key you will get an api key directly so here you will get an api key which is where we can we will be using it so i just mentioned the api key 
After that, basically what you need to do is that, okay, it has created certain files in this directory. So I'm going to use my Visual Studio code and I will open the into my Visual Studio code. Okay, so here is the Visual Studio code and this is the file which it has, it has written. So nothing we need to change. It has basically telling that, okay, we are creating a agent and this is the instruction which we, this agent will, will be doing. So here I have mentioned about the details. How exactly I've got it? First of all, what I have done is I need to get a good at the prompt engineering. If you have not done it, guys, the most important thing is learn about the prompt prompt engineering which is very important i'm going to share a white paper for you how to learn prompt engineering by the way in our website of testing academy we have already discussed this if you go to the playlist section here is the generative series where i have already created if you watch the first video around this i have already taught you how exactly prompt engineering works and what are the different frameworks of prompt engineering guys if you are not good with prompt trust me it is very difficult to create all this so make sure that you learn about what is prompting and different type of prompting frameworks which are important okay after that and also you can read this also if you need all these documents which i'm talking about all the links and everything what you need to do there are so many efforts we are doing 100 likes and 100 comments just type agent in the chat just type agent in the chat i will share the link for all this and resources in the pinned comment okay so what you need to do that's it you just need to install the comments and everything and after that uh, you just need to give the uh, key and you just need to change the instruction what is the instruction that we want to do this is our first simple agent that we are good at getting now the real question is how do we get the instruction right here in one user story example give me one second interview prompt right this one yes absolutely right i got it okay so what i have asking that okay give me a prompt where you will be acting as a qa interviewer and taking an interview and checking that also okay checking also is a part of it so it has given me a instruction which i have basically told him to give me in a simple line in, into into a line with with no escape character so to give you in a simple format which is this part which is this here is the long version which is this part this instruction i have basically pasted here that's it and then i have used a command which is this which is uh, this command which is adk run a web development on the port of 1000 right so when you run this command automatically uh, so what you can do is uh, just run the command automatically this one uh, let me check what is the command this is so i'll just run it adk 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 okay so this one this is the command that we are using adk web port and everything that's it right so when you run it automatically you will see that this is now running your agent will be now running respectively right now it is running already so now we can test it hi so our agent is running right now so you can see a session this is agent development kit it is telling you what are the events which are happening this is how the artifacts and every uh, which is details so it's asking me that okay give me the details so that i can have your proper so i'll just say the promo the uh, experience letter let's suppose 15 years i want to apply for qa manager role right and i want you to take my interview for all this okay that's it so now it will start taking my interview. This is an agent which will take my interview, give me a feedback and also give me a respectively. For example, it is asking me about core funda, which is with your experience, your autonomy, right? Uh, what is STLC? I will say that, okay, it is just a software testing development cycle. Okay, I will be little uh, cycle. That's it. Okay. A uh, little simple. It will and trust me. It will be. It will. It is great. It will basically give me. Looking forward to your approach. With 15 years, you should have given me a better answer. So, however, your question little aimed to specifically right. Can you elaborate more and everything right, which is important, which is happening here, right? So that's what exactly it is telling. <laughs> this is important, right? So this is overall agent. By the way, now simple thing is you can also convert this agent into a respective more value which means by using the lovable if you have seen my previous video also by using the lovable you can convert this into agent directly into a talking agent also where you can talk and discuss or create a beautiful ui also which is nothing but that that thing okay so for example hi right you can generate it again the same thing like it will take an interview and everything right can you give me details same thing ui also can be developed so this was your first interview right which we have our first agent that we have developed by following the simple thing which is a google adk agents and everything right updating your agents and everything running your agent and it has given you instruction also so if you need all the details and everything uh, do let me know adding ai agent into your resume is the must have right now guys it can save you from your career also so adding generative ai AI agent and mcv is important that's why we are launching the uh, 100 days of selenium with java which is on only not only it has the selenium with java with api it has all the details of the ai agents 
MCP servers, how to develop them with generative AI, how, which projects you need to use, which projects you need to develop. By the way, in that 100 days, we developed lots of agents. You, you can see this is one of the website, which is the code that we are going to generate, which is test case generator, test data generator. So swagger to this, right? There are tools, there are uh, playwright to this converter also. All these AI testing tools also side by side we have developed along with the Selenium and Java. That's exactly what you need right now to save your career also. So I hope this is important. I, if you have loved the video, I am going to plan further more where we will be learning about how you can use ADK of Google with multi-agent setup, how you can basically create your own tools. You don't have to create anything, right? You you can create reviewer.ai agent, test generator AI agent, reviewer agent, playwright test case generator agent, every agent which we are using, I'm going to give you the history. If you need that, type agent in the chat. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And by the way, if you are planning to join our live batch, which is going to start on this one, please make sure to check it out and make sure you save your sport. We have a limited number of sport, 100 days plan to become an automation AI automation tester with Selenium, Java, API and AI agents, MCP and generative AI. That's exactly what we are going to cover. Thanks for watching. I know it's a little bit uh, fast video. All the links will be available. Part 2, Part 3 and Part 3 will be coming up in the upcoming videos. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Enjoy.